Welcome back, guys. I'm Melo7, and this is Football Manager 2018. This is the early access beta version, of which, if you remember from the last episode, we crashed halfway through a video. Uh, well, we were pretty much at the end of the video, but the game crashed at the end of a game. But the problems went back further than that. At halftime, we made some subs. None of those subs happened. And then, like I say, the game crashed at the end. Well, some of those subs may have happened, but at least one of them did not. So we get a rare chance to replay a game without it looking like we're safe scumming, right? Because we all witnessed it crash. So our assistant coach last time thought that we should be running, um, be more expressive and a, a fluid shape rather than a structured shape. So I've gone back to think, I've, I've gone to think about that here a little bit and see if we're actually good at that. Essentially, um, the be expressive and the fluid, they well, the Be Expressive specifically emphasizes vision and flair. So I'm looking here, and we have a fair amount of green, you know, in the middle and, and forward of the field. So we're not too bad there, actually. Um, that might work. Ryan Yates is really the only one without much green that matters. Um, and, yeah, I think we can live without that. We don't really have anybody that's better. I mean, a 10 and a 9. We could do an 11 and 10 with Thompson. We could do a 12 and a 1 with Milsom. But neither of them are as good as Yates all the way around. He's actually very good. And, uh, you know, he's a youngster. Um, he is on loan from Nottingham Forest, which is a little embarrassing. Um, but he's 19 years old. He's going to get better. Maybe we shouldn't be trying to improve Nottingham Forest. Um, but, yeah, I think we can live with that. The other change I've made is I've brought in uh, Ramey Campbell up from our under-18 team. He's 17 years old, 6'1", 152. Uh, and, uh, well, his vision and flair aren't great, but if we come here and we mouse over... We see that he's got a 13 acceleration, a 12 pace, off the ball is 12, and his finishing is 13, which is the highest finishing of anyone on our team, and uh, pretty much the highest off the ball, and possibly the highest speed as well. So, while that isn't everything there is to being a striker, clearly a balance of 1 and agility of 8 are troubling. The fact that he can get in the right position and finish is a step up from everybody else we've had. Now, I've moved us to a 4-4-2 to throw John Steed in as a target man. And you can see his mentals are all great, but that acceleration and pace of six are terrible. His off the ball is still only a 12. His finishing is only a 12. So out of those four, just kind of the pure scoring stats-ish, the youngster beats him. Um, but we're going to put him in there. Uh, he can do some heading. Um, you know, with a 13 and a jumping reach of 13. He does have decent passing of a 12. Great teamwork, so that whole fluid thing should hopefully work. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We're going to run a 4-4-2. We've dropped everybody back. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. Um, I've got Liam back on the left and Hawkridge back on the right. Those things set up. We are going to run our best four available in the back. Dickinson is still not very good on the left. I still hate Duffy, but we're going to put him back in. Um, just for the experiment. And uh, we've got Hewitt and Hawkridge over here, which still have a still have a combo here, and we still have Grant and Yates that work. So Yates slides back. There's no way we're taking him out. We're going to have him as advanced playmaker, and we're going to run Yates just as a center midfielder on support. So attack, attack, attack. Three supports, four defends. Um, I lied. I'm going to make this a... Uh, if I leave... Well, we're going to move him up to a fullback, and we're going to put him on support. I think that'll be fine. So... Um, that gives us four supports, three attacks, three defense. I think that, that'll work fine for our kind of middle-of-the-road attack. We are in fluid. We do have more expressive. Um, starting 11 have average role suitability. So I guess that's good. Oh, if we want to do individual player instructions, we could. Um... We're not going to. So this is our team for the moment. I've got Forte. Um, let's go ahead and move Alessandra up. Forte and Alessandra's spare strikers slash midfielders. Um, Thompson and Milson as spare midfielders. Hunt, Hollis, and Toodle as our defensive spares. We're going to hit continue. We're going to hit save first. Um, so I don't have to do all this a second time if it crashes on us again in this game. I've also made a few changes to OBS. I have no idea if they're going to work or if it's going to continue to be a piece of garbage. The problem with OBS is it has lots of settings that nobody wants to tell you how they work or what they're supposed to do, including OBS. Um, 
I just went through all their stuff, and there's pages of settings that they have that nowhere do they tell you a single thing about it. So um, we're just going to guess. We're going to hope. And uh, looks like we're still mostly okay. I'm, I'm looking to see. Maybe video's a tiny bit behind. But um, as long as it stays consistent, that's an easy adjustment. Um, and you can build in some delays for the microphone and stuff if you want. I, I really don't think I need one, and I don't need one. I got a big hair there on the microphone. It's I know it doesn't affect you guys or anything, but it bugs me. Um, you can build in a, a set delay if you want, but I don't need it every time. Sometimes the audio is dead on. Sometimes it starts off and gets worse. Sometimes it starts off and stays where it is. It's a crapshoot from a day-to-day -day basis what the audio does without any changes to settings. Um, so I'm always scared to change settings because in the past it has worked at least sometimes out of the box this way. But um, we'll see how that goes. Um, fitness test not required. He doesn't have much match sharpness. So we'll see if we kill him in this one. But, you know, last time we we lost. Um, you can come all the way down here and find Accrington. They beat us one all, I think, in the video that we that died. Um, we'll find out. So we're going to just... We're going to run it. 442, be more expressive and fluid. That's what the, the, oh, hold on. No, hold on. We're going to stay here for just a second. We need to make sure that, can I change this? Tactics, match prep, match tactics. Hmm. We're on the tactics page. Well, we're still running off this 4231, so we should still have all our set pieces set. That's what I wanted to make sure. Uh, yep, yeah, we know. Uh, auto number, submit, yes. Processing, there we go. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Audio can come down a bit. See how that goes. Now, it's funny, desktop audio on OBS shows it about yeah two thirds of the way up or I'm sorry a third of the way up but it, it needs to come up so far but if I turn it up at all here on my speakers then it just destroys my microphone so um, we're gonna hand over to the assistant my talk didn't help in last time that three people are happy with him we'll go with it and we don't need to see that let's just hit play and watch what happens they still have an injured Hughes starting out there. I think their goalkeeper was injured last time, too. He is not at the moment, though. And it goes right into them. Oh, hey, we got a shot, too. Both have a foul. Possession is grossly on their side, but Walker's got the shot here. Grant comes up. Oh, my God, we scored first. Look at that. Grant squeaks one through. Right side, bottom corner. We've only got 38% possession, but we did okay there. Uh, I'm not sure what our match mentality is control. Let's knock that back to uh, counter now. Um, we had noticed last game, too, that they really dominated possession. I don't know that counter is going to help us much, but... Okay, our goalie jumped about three seconds after the ball went past. A little bit delayed. Maybe he's running on OBS as well. And we'll see what happens. First yellow of the season for Jordan Thornley. Uh, Grant's playing great. 8-0. Obviously, he's got the goal. So he's not minding that drop back to, to midfield center from attacking midfield too much. Yates has it, kicks it back to Walker, who bunts it up to uh, Campbell. Across the middle to Steed, who takes a hard shot, but it's it drifts high. He's a ways back, but... You know, nice attempt. Don't mind that. I'd like to see Campbell get in there. It was actually a decent pass. His passing's like a two or something. It is pretty bad. He is there purely for his scoring. Um, it's not going to help him much if he's on the far left and expected to cross. We do have him listed as an advanced playmaker. Advanced playmaker? Maybe we just need to put him as a straight poacher. We'll look at that at half, and we'll see exactly what I have him set as. All right, Pereira. And Pindro scores for them again. He did the same thing. Well, he had an own goal in the first one. It came in 
near side and he just kind of shoveled it in if you missed it. Um, this is another one he should have stopped. He is by far our best goalie. <sighs> he just, he's in just bad position. So back to one all, but compared to how bad last game went, I'll take it. Um, Walker's playing well too. He's got a seven. Campbell's not played great, um, but he hasn't played terrible. Okay. Let's get in there. Um, hand over to the assistant. Far from pleased. They liked it better from him than they did from me. Um, let's go ahead and take a... Let's see in the pep talk. Let's go to tactics. So right now we have Campbell as an advanced forward. Spearhead. You know what? I'm just going to put him on a straight poacher. We're just going to put him on poacher and see. We're going to give him... Well, we'll see how the game goes. Um, but I think I think we'll start with that. Um, and we'll see how that goes. If he gets involved here, even if he doesn't score, we'll keep it. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and we'll swap him out for somebody else. Hawkridge just decided to give the ball back to Thornley or whoever that was. Pereira in, and that's the end of that highlight because it was the uh, kickoff. Um, five shots to six. Nine fouls. Well, they are fouling a lot more than us. We've been equal on target. Um, they did get a, another one there. Duffy's been injured. Uh, we did have a lot of injuries last time. Duffy should not have been one of those. But uh, let's go ahead. Can we just click down? And we do have Hollis sitting there waiting, so that's not, not terrible. Um, and we hadn't used any of our other subs, so let's go ahead and hit play. So, oh, whoops. Conf oh, wait, this is something I don't like. I'm not a huge fan of this confirmed sub sitting down here very innocuously in the bottom right without anything to call your attention to it. Once you know it's there... You mostly are okay, although I still forget it a little bit. You know, if the continue is going to be up here on the right, then it should be up there. It should be somewhere where it's obvious and we see it. We're up to 60 minutes. We're not seeing Campbell get involved. We're going to go ahead and make a sub. We're going to take Renee Campbell out. Whoops. And we'll go ahead. Let's see. Finishing of 9. Finishing of 11. Oh, let's go ahead and put Forte in. Confirm, and we'll hit play, and we'll see if that, that helps at all. Um, I do like Forte. I, I like Alessandra. I, I, for the most part, I like all three, three, four of our strikers. Um, oh, my gosh, Pindros. We got so lucky there. Um, just none of them are any good. <laughs> uh, you know, that's that's the issue. Sometimes, some of it's age. Um, it clearly is with, with, with John Steed. Uh, he looks like he was very good at one point. I just came to the game a couple years too late. Um, and we're not getting anything else done. I'm going to... Oh, we'll see what happens here. Pereira, Walker... Oh, tries to get it away. Dickinson, what's he got? Hopefully he doesn't screw it up. Forte up to Steed. Steed back up to Forte. Tries to dribble through like eight guys. Well, okay, six guys. Eight, as it turns out, wasn't that much of an exaggeration. I'm up. To Doty, back over to Pereira, up to Clark. What's Clark got? A goal in him, apparently. Shoots right through all of our defenders and our goalkeeper, who was on the correct side. He just didn't feel like stopping it. Our goalkeeping is horrendous, and I don't know why. From the numbers, he's not terrible. Um, but the reality is these goals shouldn't be going in. They really shouldn't. He completely gets caught fat, flat-footed and falls over backwards. Um... Okay, well, we're going to go to um, attacking, and we'll see what happens. Um, Hewitt's been terrible, but what else are we going to do? Walker feeds it in. Steed, oh, puts a nice hard shot in, but it doesn't go in. But Thornley got red carded here, so I guess that's good. Um, gives us, you know, maybe 10 minutes worth of time to try to put something together to salvage this draw. Forte just... First touch puts it down, second touch puts it up, tries for a far side top shelf, but just floats it wide and probably high. And um, yeah, we're going to lose to the, I don't know if they were technically the worst, but the next to the worst team in the league, which I guess probably makes us the worst team. Hawkridge, oh, he tries. No, maybe can we, oh, geez, so close. We still get the pressure on. Come on, Grant. We've got six minutes of penalty. Oh, there we go. Hawkridge puts it in. Yes, 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 yes. And OBS looks like it's drifted on me again. Oh, my gosh. A hard shot from Hawkridge. 
puts in another one. Hewitt feeds it to Grant. Grant sees Hawkridge is just itching for it, and he puts in just probably the worst shot out of the out of the three or four he had, but it goes. It goes. Oh my god. <laughs> we might salvage a draw out of this. Oh, maybe we won't get relegated right away. We are supposed to finish top half, by the way. Probably not gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen. And that's game. Uh, we took a draw out of it. That's not terrible. I can live with that. Uh, let's head to the dressing room. Um, most players are not giving you their full attention. Let's go ahead and we'll passionately... Uh, say something about... Um, uh, we should have won that match. And they agree. They agree. I was worried. I was happy we came back and got a draw, but... Um, you know, we're still trying to, uh, players are fired up. Atmosphere among the squad is growing. So that's good. So let's hit leave match real fast. Um, we do have the check a trade trophy coming up. Transfer window ends in, in, in a week, but I don't know that there's anybody out there that we need or want. Um, hold to a draw. Duffy's injured. So two more weeks he's out. Campbell makes his professional debut. And to be fair, he did not do terrible, but we probably are better off, um, Oh, Forte is going to be gone. Um, Duffy's injured, so let's go ahead. We'll swap him out for Hollis. Um, oh, is Breezley back? Breezley in for Duffy. Breezley in for Hollis. There we go. So that will fix that. Forte is going to be traveling for the next game. So we may as well... I guess put Saunders back in. Um, and he's got, he's decent on the physicals and he's decent on the mentals. His problem is, um, the technicals, he's pretty poor. Now he is only 21 years old, so he might get better. Um, and he does have a little bit of flair. His vision's not spectacular, but he does have good work rate and teamwork. Um, it'd just be nice if we had somebody that could score. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we just, we just don't. Um, well, I think I'll put him in for Campbell for this next match anyway, or we'll see how that goes. We'll put him in there for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead while I see those there. Squad. I don't have an under-21 team. They're just saying he's under-21? It's just a tag that says they're young. They're young. Okay. Maybe they don't have to be um, registered or whatever because of their age. He's a youth and under 21. Oh, youth contract. He's on loan. Okay. Okay. I think I see what's going on there. So that was it. We uh, somehow lucked into a draw at the end of that one. Nothing broke. OBS is apparently, let me see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's off. It's drifted. But it looks like it drifted consistently. Um, rather than potentially hitting some big snag halfway through and just dropping frames or, or drifting dramatically. So we'll have to take a look at that. Um, I have everything running the same. You know, we're at we're at two channel, 16 bit, 48,000 hertz, both on the mic setup and in OBS. So, uh, and we set up everything else the way they said to in the instructions that they actually talked about. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. I am Melo7. This was Football Manager 2018 Beta. Early access fun. We'll see you next time. Cheers.